what is going on YouTube it's a boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to play PSP games on your hand PS3 okay so let's go ahead and get started so there are two ways you can do this you can copy the ISO to your PS3 or you can copy it to your USB stick and play it straight from your USB stick but I'm gonna copy it to my USB stick then copy it to my PS3 and show you guys okay so right here I have my PSP ISO game and over here I have the PSP remaster. So just go ahead and copy both of them. Then paste it on your USB. Make sure that your USB stick is formatted to FAT32. Go ahead and paste the file right there. Alright, so we just copied over the PSP remaster and our PSP game. You can do all your PSP games all at once. So if you want to play the PSP game from your USB stick, go ahead and create a new folder and call it PSP ISO, all cap. Once that's done, drag and drop the PSP game inside that folder. Also, keep in mind guys that you can copy over all your PSP games inside the PSP ISO folder just to make things a lot quicker and faster for you. You can also play it from your USB stick. Also keep that in mind. Okay, let's head over to the PS3 now. Okay, now that we're on the PS3, head over to the left and you want to go ahead and enable your hen from right here. Press yes. Once you have an enable, let's go to our package manager and let's install the PSP remaster. Okay, press circle. And here we have the PSP master launcher right here. So if you go inside Webman, you will see that there's no PSP games inside Webman. The reason for this, we need to copy the PSP ISO over to our PS3. Also, Webman will speed up your PS3, so keep that in mind. I would recommend you to use Multiman instead. So go ahead and launch your Multiman. Okay, so once you're inside Multiman, you want to go ahead and hit the refresh right there. Once you hit that, go over to the right, go over again, and you will see your PSP ISO right there. So let's go ahead and copy this over to the PS3. You can play it from the USB if you want. So go ahead and press triangle. Go down to File Manager. It will take you right here. So go up to the PSP ISO, press X, now press circle, go down to cut, go up to the top folder with the two dots, double tap X, double tap X again at the top, go down to dev HDD zero, double tap X. Now go all the way down to where you see PSP ISO, double tap X to enter, now press circle, paste and paste the ISO right there. You can paste all your ISO games at once inside that folder. Okay, so we have just finished copying over PSP games to the PS3 hard drive. So go over to the controller where it says games. It will take you back to Multiman XMB. Now go all the way up to refresh, click it. So as you guys can see, we have two PSP games. One says USB, the other says HDD. If I go ahead and remove my USB stick and then press refresh, you will see that we only have one and it says HDD. So all we have to do from right here is press X and the game will launch and take us back to the XMB. Okay, so after launching the game inside Multiman, it will take us back to the XMB. So all you have to do now is scroll go up and here is the PSP remaster loaded with the game. So all you have to do is go ahead and press X and launch the remaster. Okay. 
Okay, so after launching the PSP Remaster, you will get this option. Make sure that you select the left option that says PSP Remaster. Okay, so select the left one that says PSP PlayStation Portable Remaster. And that's it guys. The game launched and it works perfectly fine. Everything looks great. You can use your PS3 controller, play the game and everything. Alright, so guys, let's go ahead and quit the game and show you guys how to load it up in Webman. Do keep in mind that sometimes the game will freeze when using Webman. Also, Webman will speed up your PS3 fan and all of that. So keep that in mind. Okay, so after quitting the game, go up to your Webman games. Go down to PlayStation Portable and as you can see there is no PSP games inside this folder. So I'm going to show you guys how to add the PSP games to this folder. Please keep in mind that using Webman would sometimes freeze the game. Okay, so go up to Webman Games Setup. Now go down to the part where it says Refresh My Games. Press X and you will get that notification. There it is, refresh XML, scan for content, and refresh XML, OK. So now we can press circle and go back out, and let's reboot the PS3. All right, so after rebooting the PS3, you want to go ahead and log into your user. Now go back over to Webman Games. Go all the way down to PlayStation Portable and there is your PSP game right there. Remember, before you launch in the games from Webman, you need to enable hand first. So I'm going to enable hand and show you that the game still shows up there. But I'm not going to play it because as I said before, sometimes Webman freezes the game. Okay, so that's it guys. If the video was helpful, please leave a like, a share and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.